what it means to do a greenfield deployment. While interviewing a candidate for a job the other day for a project that I was working on, I asked the employee, how much greenfield work have you done? And the person came back with the equivalent of a blank stare. It was a phone interview, so I couldn't see him give me the funny look, but the dead silence meant that he didn't know what a greenfield was. So greenfielding is when you're starting with nothing. You have a wide open space and you get to decide everything about the deployment that you're going to do. Greenfielding is both a blessing and a curse. When you inherit somebody else's setup, you have use cases, you have some history about how that setup has been used. Whereas when you're greenfielding something, you have to anticipate how people are going to use it. The advantage of a greenfield is that you don't inherit any of the problems. The disadvantage is you don't inherit any of the history. So greenfielding requires a special set of skills because you have to imagine all the possible scenarios, plan for growth, plan for development, and make the appropriate decisions. You also don't get to hide any of your mistakes. If you have a deployment that already works and you're planning upgrades, you can pick the parts out that you want to upgrade. And if you missed something, something was already in its place. For example, if you upgraded the amount of hard disk on the network, there would still be a network cable running to it. And there'd be enough switches and things like that, that there was already this infrastructure you could use. On the other hand, if you're greenfielding, and you miscalculated on the amount of cable you need or the number of runs that you need or the number of ports on the switches and routers that you need or that you totally forgot that you needed to buy a PIX firewall in order to do some of the routing and security that you wanted, you're just kind of SOL because you don't have something to limp along with until you can get more budget. So if you missed something, you're kind of stuck with either telling the client that you have to raise the price or reduce your profits because of the mistake you made. So that's the challenge of greenfielding is developing a solution and anticipating all the needs and making sure that you have everything on the checklist.